various sampling techniques to sample different species of fish um, when we do lake surveys. For example, for walleyes, perch, northern pike, uh, white suckers, uh, we'll use gill nets during a midsummer survey. For panfish species, we'll use trap nets. But for crappies and largemouth bass, we like to use electrofishing. It's a method of sampling fish where we uh, use a, a bolt with a generator and and probes. We've got a positive electrode and a negative electrode. Uh, the positive electrode hangs off the front of the boat and it sends a pulsed direct current charge into the water and uh, it's picked up by the boat. That's the negative electrode. And it temporarily stuns fish and we can scoop them up. We'll get an age structure and a size structure. So we'll take a length, a weight, and uh, um, a scale sample, for example, to age the fish. So we'll know how many ones, twos, threes, fours, are, are in the population. And it gives us an idea of whether or not a certain year class is stronger than another. It's a real effective way to sample fish when they're in shallow water, and that's why we do it in the spring, early summer, when those species that we're targeting are in those areas of the lake. So we'll do it either at night, or in the case that uh, you came out with us, we did it as an early morning sampling. We're unable to sample black crappie and largemouth bass adequately with trap nets or gill nets, and so electrofishing gives us an opportunity to sample those populations and get what we call a, an index of abundance. We can't count the fish in a lake, obviously. We can't see them all. So we do sampling. We try to mimic the same sampling, same time of the year, same station, same length. Um, if we're using nets, the same nets in the same locations at the same time of the year so that we can compare one survey to the next survey and get an idea of whether or not the population is increasing or decreasing. It's a type of sampling that's, that's efficient and it, it catches the fish that we're after, but it doesn't harm the fish at all. After a few moments, they, uh, they quickly revive. Uh, when they're stunned, um, that, well, the reason we use direct current is because it'll draw fish in. Our electrofishing is effective out to about six or eight feet of water. If we were using alternating current, uh, there'd be no direction to the fish. Uh, the positive electrode actually pulls the fish in where they're stunned, and we net them up, we put them in the live well, and after a minute or two or three, they'll, they'll completely revive, and they can be released back to the water unharmed. These species that uh, we were sampling uh, are species that we don't typically stock unless it's absolutely necessary, and these species are naturally reproducing on these lakes. It gives us more uh, of a, a piece of the puzzle of the lake. It tells us about two species that are out there. And um, when we look at the overall uh, management of a lake, it's one more piece of the puzzle, I guess. We can monitor those species to determine if they're increasing or decreasing. And if we see a problem, for example, uh, for example, the crappies have completely disappeared, uh, we'll look for we'll look for the possible causes. Um, you know, was there a winter kill? Is there a loss of spawning habitat? Or is there some other problem going on in the lake that we should be doing something about? What we saw on this lake was 25 black crappie per hour and about about five largemouth bass, and that's kind of on the low side for largemouth bass, but it's about average for black crappie. These results were pretty typical of what we've seen on this lake. One sampling year will have really high catches and another one will have really low. And we don't get too excited if the population is um, a little higher or a little lower. We expect those kinds of things. That's normal and that's natural. We get a little more concerned when we see it going one way for a period of time. It's a technique that uh, might surprise some local residents when they see us motoring around the lake at 10:30, 11 at night with big spotlights shining off the front of a boat with uh, long poles extending forward and, and people dipping fish. It's likely us uh, sampling fish species on, on that particular lake. So uh, don't get too alarmed. We, we try to notify the sheriff before we go out on any particular lake so people don't get too excited. But every once in a while somebody will run down to the end of the dock and ask us what we're doing. Mm -hmm.